Hi everyone, my name is Lorena. Welcome back to my channel. So you start to hear a lot of back to school buzz. Even if you walk into Target, you can see the supplies out, you can see the backpack, the lunch bags, and it's just like that season again. We started summer school like a few weeks ago, five, six weeks ago, and so I've been doing lunches for Juliet Monday through Friday, and it's really a lot of work. And so I wanted to share with you what I've learned so far, some of my tips, because it does take creativity, planning, organization. And so I just wanted to share with you what's kind of worked so far for me and show you one week of lunches for Juliet. Let's get started. <music> I bought my lunch bag and my lunch box from Pottery Barn as I said as they advertise it I bought just that and of course a bottle of water and I just kind of went for it and started with sandwiches vegetables and fruits however with the actual case that I got original from uh, Pottery Barn I didn't end up loving it I feel like the slots were really big and so I ended up buying another one I actually posted something on my Instagram about how hard it is um, to do lunches every day and how I like give so much props to all the moms that are doing it every day and a friend of mine recommended this bento box and I got it and it has been a lot better I feel like the compartments are a little bit smaller a little bit more age appropriate for Julia they rise a little bit higher and the stuff moves a little bit less which I just feel like if I organize something a certain way then it can stay that and look pretty so I definitely feel like it's a good idea to have more than one lunch box especially if you're tight on time and for whatever reason you don't get to washing the dishes or whatever you know you know that you have another one ready to go for the next day um, so right now I have this bento box and I have the original one that I bought from Pottery Bar I do plan to get a third one that has within the bento box like a little circle like a little container to put hot items Juliet just mentioned that she wanted to have some warm rice and so I feel like I need that one for days that we do have like leftover rice leftover soup or something like leftover pasta that I could include there um, I definitely plan to get that one as well but for now I just have these two and this is how it's worked out so far so one thing I learned about myself one week into doing this is that I prefer doing Juliet's lunches in the morning versus at the end of the day. I just felt like it was just another chore in the nighttime, whereas in the daytime I felt more joy doing it, so I prefer to do them in the morning. Also initially I bought a sandwich six piece cutter and sealer which I didn't end up liking because they were so small and they were wasting a lot of bread. I later bought a bigger set, I'll show you later on, but these smaller ones do work when I want to do an apple and butter sandwich just because apple is on the smaller size and so these smaller cutters work best for when doing these sandwiches. So it's Monday and I don't have a ton of stuff left from last week and so I just work with what I have currently in my refrigerator. I still have tomatoes, I still have, I have peas in the freezer. We made some muffins on Friday and so I'm putting her a little piece of a muffin. I made an apple and sunflower seed butter sandwich. Um, they're not allowed to take nut butter so this is um, good. I just don't have any more turkey or ham or anything. And then um, just to fill in the blank I'm adding this string cheese that we still have and this should be good for Monday it's backwards yeah mommy mm -hmm. we fixed it okay Is your water? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Move. So then I ended up getting this big set of bed cutters that included all of these items. These sandwich cutters are really big that really fit the size of the bread of loaf, and that way you're really only getting rid of the crust and not wasting a lot of bread. Also every morning I ask Juliet what shape she wants and so she gets to choose and it becomes fun for the both of us. Keep this 
sandwich very simple just add mayonnaise and mustard then I have the oven roasted turkey and I also use the bread cutter to cut through the turkey I just cut all three pieces separately just because I feel like it's easier and that way the bread doesn't break and next I always like to include vegetables and fruits So today is Tuesday, day two of the week. So this time I made a sandwich made out of um, oven roasted chicken breast. It's just simple with, with some mayonnaise and some mustard. I don't put anything else because it tends to fall out when she eats. And like I, would, I was putting tomatoes before, and so she just asked me to put the tomatoes on the side because they were falling off, for example. So I just leave it plain like this. And that, for vegetables, I have today carrots and tomatoes and for fruit I put some watermelon bits and an apricot and I just try to make it fun and cut into some um, fun shapes over here so it look full and it look fun for her uh, but this is it day two today I'm trying something different something new and something warm I'm creating this grilled cheese sandwich and adding a slice of turkey let's see how it goes added some butter to the bread slices but also to the pan I'm adding these cheese slices and on top of this Monterey Jack cheese I'm also adding mozzarella cheese and like I said a slice of turkey While the cheese gets melted, I'm gonna go on and do the veggies and the vegetables. The grilled cheese sandwich turned out so good. It looks so delicious. Everybody wanted to eat it already. And just because it was a lot of cheese and it was a big sandwich, I decided to cut it into some dinosaur shapes and that way it was a little bit smaller portion for her and the hubby got to enjoy the rest of it. It. it looks so good and I'm going to put it into this bag so it keeps warm. Ta-da! So I made Juliet a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm putting it here. Hopefully it stays warm in here. And then I put some um, strawberries, some carrots, some tomatoes, and some grapes. And this should be good for today. Right? Today is Wednesday. And I decided to do something warm. I haven't done something warm, so I help. I'll get some feedback from Juliet today when she comes back from school and see how she liked it, and I'll probably repeat it again if she likes it. All right, so we're in a little bit of a time crunch here. It's a very, very busy day. So I just whipped this up really fast. I have a sandwich just here, plain and simple. I only had one loaf, so I got a little bit creative and cut it like this so I wouldn't get rid of much of that one loaf. I put some bee, I have cauliflower, I had some apricot, some grapes, and here's a little bit of a bar. It's half a bar only. I just gave the other half to Penny, who is leaving to Grandma. It's this Sarah Belly Smart Bar Strawberry and Beet, a little bit more of beet. Um, I just thought it would be fun to include here today. She does have swimming, so just a little bit more carbs for all the exercise that she does. And that's it. Today I'm also going to include one of these juice so she stays hydrated. This is just water infused with apple essence. Um, it has zero sugar, if you can see here, just ingredient purified water and natural flavors this is what it says um she's not great at drinking water at school right now so this is gonna hopefully encourage her to drink a little bit more um, and stay hydrated and this is it this is thursday's lunch so it's friday and i'm getting a little creative making these rolls out of cheese and turkey just because i don't have any more bread 
And so this is what she's getting today. And now I'm chopping some fruit and vegetables. So I have some apples, um, some pretzels because I don't have bread anymore. So I made these roll-ups of um, oven roasted turkey with some cheese. And for vegetables, we have tomatoes and carrots. And that's it. You good? No. You think this is good? Alright, okay. apple and then I put you butter here. Is it thick? Let me see. Let's try. Yes, that's it. It's thick. Okay? I'm gonna put you some pretzels here. Sounds good? Um, along with what I've created in the past week, I bought these yogurts that were mini um, like smoothie yogurts that I also included. I do love our lunch bag that we got from Pottery Barn. It's the perfect size. It fits well the bento. It fits well the original box that I got from Pottery Barn. They have an ice pack included with the lunch box and that works great. I also bought additional ice packs and one that are shaped like butterflies. So I put that on the other side or on the top whenever I feel that it needs to be extra cold. So far, Juliet loves the lunches that I have been making for her and I first had just the lunch box and then now have added a different lunch box i have added these shapes these cutters the sandwich cutters initially i bought the cutter so that i can make the sandwiches that are sealed however that seemed to be really hard with the bread it always kept breaking so i, I don't really recommend it's easier to just cut through the bread and through the turkey to have these cutters than to try to do the one that is sealed i felt like it wasn't really working how I wanted it to be. I did buy one set and also I felt like the shapes were really small. So do look to see the size of the cutters because the one that I originally bought are actually very small and I was just wasting a lot of bread like that. And the second set that I bought has a bigger size that really covers the majority of the bread loaf. So I do plan to make a follow up video of how it's going, especially um, once I get the hot item container. And I'll share with you what are some other lunch ideas that have worked with Juliet that she likes and so I hope this information was useful to you to get started now that we are going into back to school and having to make lunch for little ones it really is a lot of work but don't get overwhelmed you got this keep to simple items to things that your kid loves already at home and just integrate that to the lunchbox don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time bye